here we are. Just when we thought, Kevin, that I was just going to have a nice, easy night, the Orioles just had, had to, had to do what they did in, in the late inning fashion. Uh, the Moo Man is just, it, it, he's no longer a mythical creature. He's a real living legend. Um, and uh, Zach is going to join us soon. If, I know he's hammered somewhere. <laughs> he is not. He is not in a ditch. But holy shirts and pants, uh, O's fans. Man. How are we feeling? I, tell me in the chat. I can tell you how you're feeling. Yeah, we're feeling. We're feeling. Pretty- feeling I'm feeling good. I, I I need to get like a cow prop. Like I need. I need something. I was actually. I was actually gonna pull out the glasses with you, but I forgot. I we hit the live button. I'm like, man. But we got the the Gunnar Henderson monster, literally home run. And then Colton Cows are doing his thing. Not one, not one, two. Uh, we have to bring. Hold on. All right, we have to bring. Oh, uh, we ha- we we have. Oh God. the bird. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. What a win, baby! I can't believe that happened. But continue, Kevin. No, nah, no. I was you. You take it away, man. Like Colton well, Cows are my- doing his thing. God, I am getting in my car, but. Colton Kowser, stud. Absolute stud. Gunnar Henderson, stud. I can't believe it. That's all I got to say. I can't believe it. Because I, w- I won't lie. I don't know how Tony Taters even hit a home run. I thought we hit a double play, and that was the – that's up there for most confusing moments in Orioles history when we hit into a double play to end the inning. It comes back from break, and we're still up. And then the first pitch, Tony Taters hits a home run to uh, take the lead. Uh, I'm going to drive. You guys take it from here, and then I'll pick back up when I get home. Yeah, the Red yeah, Sox have great. been – they've had some pretty sloppy moments in uh, – or they had some sloppy moments in this series. I mean, I think two days ago was – or yesterday, yeah, it was – they had a lot of moments. And then, the, yeah, just don't touch the second base bag, I guess, and then give the Orioles an opportunity. I mean, they'll take it. Like t- Tony Taters does this thing, kind of whips that thing inside the pesky pole. And uh, man, then we got a couple of monster shots. And we, we had a bit of everything in this game, didn't we, Ryan? We, we really did. Um, we had a great pitching performance overall from Grayson Rodriguez. A really, I thought, a great job again by the Baltimore bullpen, keeping him alive. And then it helps out when you get to extra innings. Oh, Craig Kimbrell, pretty damn good. And then when it gets to extra innings, Gunnar Henderson and then uh, Colton Kowser on a 3-0 pitch. 3-0 pitch, free swinging to really just put the game away. And you know what? We got to bring him on, Kevin, because yeah. if 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 I don't even know how to properly do this because everyone knows who I'm referring to that's the biggest Kowser truther that the world has ever seen, Moon. ever seen. If we if we thought Zach, Mister Mister Jason, Jason Benowitz, there he is. Uh, what what do you say? <laughs> what do you say, Jason? Right. <laughs> what do you say, Jason? Right. I mean, ho- holy shirts and pants for one. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, you know, and this is my my God, it's Jason Benowitz music. Yeah, we need to get like a sound for you coming in next time. Like everyone's got it the has to, it has to be a cowbell. It 100 percent has to be a cowbell. We'll add it. We'll add it to the uh in studio. We'll add it to the um yeah. the noise. We're not in studio, obviously. I'm on my couch. Zach is doing what I did the other night. He's in this another dimension. Um Kevin's with his fish tank. I and am in the, I'm in the aquarium. Yeah. So I mean, but hey, Jason, uh Rocco was trying to say you'd see the home run tomorrow night. No, no, no. No, no, no. But I think it's okay. I think everyone's okay uh, because the biggest thing is the Orioles get the win. Colton Kowser gets his first big league home run, then his second. And I think I'm just, I'll just go out and say it. I think we can Sharpie tweeted it out. Jason, we're going to Sharpie Colton Kowser's lineup in into the lineup. Sorry, his name in the lineup tomorrow. They should just throw him. They should play him against DL Hall. But um, is this everything you'd imagine and more? Jason, I mean, again, you're you're talking to you're talking to the Kowser guy. So from the day he got <laughs> drafted, I was like, all right, this this dude just gonna hit, and he needs the chance to hit because you can't do it. You can't do it if you don't get the chance to do it. 
put that on t shirt. Um, but man, book it. I, I literally no words. Like the he's doing it. This is what this is what they drafted him for. To hit absolute nukes into the night at Fenway Park. And you know, I just see it. Hey, let us know where you're tuning in from. Also, came through sweeping, sweep sweet. It is a sweep sweep yeah. night. Um, you know what? And, and I'm just gonna throw this out here, guys, because this is kind of like a rip after dark, what these impromptu streams have turned into. Um, I'm just saying the the birds haven't lost since Brenda graced herself That's into true. our lives. She is the Orioles goddess, is uh is is what she is. So might have, her account yeah, got might suspended, have to get her as a guest on the show. Might have to get mm-hmm. her, her account got us account got suspended though. On, Did it actually? On, on oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, somebody, no. someone, someone hit me in my heart. My heart's a little bit broken. Look, do you see Zach is absolutely booking it right now? Look at yeah. Look what at was that? Yes, I'm running to get my computer. People, okay, calm down. <laughs> look at this. Like you can see, like his his, his luscious <laughs> locks just flowing. Look at this. I wish what, I what locks? He got them cut. I yeah. know it's so sad. <laughs> We're well, back, I think We're back. also the big conversation is, I mean, Colton at this point has to play like all the time, like all the time. But there's been a lot of Austin Hayes conversation I've seen on social media. I know, Ryan, you said you are not for the Austin Hayes slander. Neither am I personally. But kind of what do you do with a guy like Austin Hayes right now when you seemingly can't take Colton out of the lineup? You're not going to take Tony Taters out. I mean, there's obviously opportunities in the DH spot, depending on how you work around the lineup. But. What do you do with Austin right now? Well, here, here's the reality. When you got a, a guy hotter than the actual sun that's up in the sky, it's not in the sky, the galaxy, the universe, wherever you consider the solar system for the, the sun, Colton Cowser is hotter than that. And when you got a guy that's swinging the bat that damn well, and actually I'm going to pull up my video here that I just put on X about Colton Cowser. Baseball players are creatures of habit. And when, they, when they're hot, you got to let them stay hot. And no one is hotter on the Baltimore Orioles than Colton Cowser. And you're looking at us all. Cedric Mullins swung the bat well this series. He had some great, great at-bats. Obviously, the insurance run in the 10th as well never hurts. Um, but Seti obviously brings a lot to the game as well. And then t- Tony Taters. I mean, the dude's just a walking RBI machine. And I think that people need to understand he is actually the Orioles, has been the Orioles' best offensive player the last two years. And I don't think he's saying that he wants to give up that title anytime soon. But the funny part is, is that a lot of these Orioles feel the same way, that they can be just as dominant. But for Hayes, he's a pro. He'll do whatever's asked of him. And honestly, I think I think his time will come. But the moment right now, the moment's for Kowser. And I think that's kind of here, here at least to stay. And, yeah, you know, I already know the answer because Hyde's going to put him in the lineup. But if he's not in the lineup, I'm afraid of what would happen to the city of Baltimore tomorrow night. But zero chance. Zero. Guy will be ready for Jackson Holiday T-shirt night, guys. Jackson Holiday T-shirt night. Mm-hmm. 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 It, uh, you know, it's I'm, world of emotions. Even, and you know, again, Cowser guy. I'm not here for the Austin Hayes slander either. Like, dude, dude was an all star last year, right? Mm. Gotta give him, you gotta give him the benefit of the doubt that he'll find it, but it, that doesn't mean he has to play right now. Right. Yeah, I mean, I think Hyder, I think Hyder even said he's like, hey man, Colton's absolutely swinging the shit out of it. Have you seen him? He's playing wall ball every night, he's playing pepper today. He wanted to one up it, he wanted to play, uh, I guess, it didn't go over the wall. But on top of the wall, he played on top of the wall ball at Fenway, and then and then he just played launch a ball to right center, like you know, like in, in the NBA arenas when they just throw the stuff into the stands and just I, or they I get did, the can. I did that actually. I had I had a job doing. That. Why does that not surprise me? Sorry, I had. To I, I worked. So, I went. I went to Elon me? in North Carolina. I worked the ACC tournament my senior year. It was actually right before COVID hit, and I. It was like for a senior project. And so I was the one who like, you know, during timeouts, you're like, you're like, yeah, like pump up the crowd. Like, let's go. And you like have like mini basketballs. And I was just chucking those things like into the stands. I think I hit someone in the face, actually. And I feel bad about it still. But okay. well, did, well, you're I don't even know what to say to you, Kevin. You never cease to amaze me. Um, yeah. But but yes, that's what Kowser did. Um, 
Also, C-, C Money was asking if the Super Chats were blocked. I don't think they're broken. I don't know anything how the hell to use it. We do have subscriptions uh, available now, by the yeah, way. I think so, yeah. Um, nice. And also, I saw Bear Arms. I saw you're in the at the emergency room. Hope everything's okay there. We love our community here. That's why we kind of wanted to go live. I'll be honest, guys. Let me be frank. My name's Ryan, but I'll be frank right here. Um, long day. Long day. You know, we did the show. Great show with uh, – Matt Holiday, Tim Kirchin, and obviously Jason Benowitz, the star of the lineup with it. But honestly, you were the star because you were sending people to see Jackson Holiday and the Orioles play on Friday night. That's you. That's why you're one of the best of the best of the Orioles community. Um, and then I got to do the pregame show for 105 to 7. And then, you know, the birds go, the birds go bananas in the late inning. Um, and here we are. Oh, oh, and we have a new member. Well, oh gosh. Oh, oh, yes. Speaking of, yes. Thank you, first of all, Will. We did, for those who missed it, we did introduce being a channel member today, actually. Brad did a great job with it. We've kind of been having this in the works for a little bit. So essentially, there are two separate tiers. I think it's Rip Super Fans and then the Holy Shirts and Pants tier. That one, obviously. Being holy online. shirts and pants holy shirts and pants so you can again it's another way to support the show support you know what we do and then bringing to baltimore sports coverage and you get a lot of different things emotes the channel member badge and there'll be more stuff we add onto it but if you want to do that there's a join button on your computer right next to the subscribe button if you're already subscribed it's still going to be there and that's how you join it's so really appreciate that that's <laughs> it could you never well, know Nick, Nick, I agree. I, the, the the looks better looking than Tom Cruise. Number one. Secondly, uh, yes, yes, it is. Uh, and also, we need to talk some dynasty football. Uh, is the season, by the way. And uh, hey, how about Dirty Mike and the boys at the end? People might say he gave up a double in the tenth. Hardest thing also to come into a game with the runner on second base. First off, that run does not count. So, ha ha. Secondly. What do you do? Next three guys. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good night. Retired it. Retired it. You're seeing this bullpen. And can I can I get a little applause, guys, for the bullpen again? Just yeah, just absolutely. just just again for the bullpen. Um, there are some tremendous arms. And, and again, I'm a uh, as Jason Benowitz is a Colin Cowser. Uh, what's what was the phrase? Believer, uh, truther, truther. Whatever you are. Um, I don't even know how, what phrase that's appropriate to talk about how I feel about Mike Bauman. Um, so I'll keep that to myself, but I'm a huge big Mike believer, but I'm also a big believer of the rest of the guys. Jacob Webb, tremendous job. Danny Coulomb, who gives a shit that he gave up a home run, by the way. Okay. He's been great so far. Great swing by Wong. Tomato, tomato. The ball gets out of the ballpark, and there you go. But overall, this is why the Orioles are able to come back so much. Are we putting that together? That yeah, okay. We don't want the Orioles to come back, but I'd rather the Orioles come back because they can. Not because the game's out of reach. And this ball, this Baltimore team, yet again, yet again. I know fans are like, okay, we need to calm down here. We need to we need to score runs early. But I guarantee you, if we took a poll, and we're not having this up, fans would take a win over any we'd say sorry, they take a win any means necessary than just blowing them out early and winning sometimes well, it's also about you know? facing adversity too like you know going through this and then also like you know coming out with a win on top of it it's like okay you're down things you know might not be going your way but then you can pull out a win like this you can go they, they put what on can a you pull out right now a win w i n oh, okay. <laughs> first of all let's just let's make that clear but that's what, jason that's what i, I didn't say it. It. yeah well mm-hmm. okay but that's what i love well, about apparently it apparently my tweet earlier did so I did. That was a legendary. <laughs> that was a legendary tweet, by the way. That was a, <laughs> Jason unintentionally had the funniest tweet of all time on Orioles Twitter. Oh yeah, yeah. gosh, yeah, it was. You're good oh, kid, actually, Jason. super chats. Yeah, there we go, cute. Thank you, cute. Super chats are working. So hey. now the beer's going really good Saturday, and then there we go. Mm-hmm. See there money. He actually said that earlier on our uh, on our first stream, so, mm-hmm. and then. Thank you, Dred, for the membership. See, this is what what a night, what a what a name, what a game, what a sport, what a stream. You know, this is why we do it. I mean, again, we're if you're tuning in, you're new to the channel. Holy shirts, we got we got 158 on YouTube chain turning into this, and uh, wow, we're we're approaching, you know, people 900 people total. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Yeah, there's a lot of love. There's a lot of love in the community, but 
we appreciate that you guys are out there. Uh, wanted to tune in. What, Zach? I just wanted to point something out. You guys can hear me, right? I always I got to check that first. All right. Unfortunately. Thank you. The biggest thing coming into this season, and we've said it before, where people were concerned that the Baltimore Orioles last year, they were going to regress this year because they had so many comeback wins. They had so many close wins. They, they won games they weren't supposed to win. And the biggest thing against the Orioles was, there's no way they could do it against oh, Jesus no. Christ. I just saw Rocker join. Okay. <laughs> well, he needs but, to. He needs before, to. Okay, yeah. No, finish your thoughts, Zach. Before, he, thought, he, before yeah. he finishes, the biggest thing people say against about the Orioles were, okay, there's no way they can replicate that, right? There's no way you can have that clutch gene again. And what have the Orioles done? Went to Fenway Park against the Boston Red Sox. Three games. Three deficits three wins and that is what you call a good old-fashioned sweep everyone everyone wants to say it's going to end soon everyone wants to say hey orioles can't keep coming back that's not how you you can't win games consistently doing that orioles right now are showing you yes you can if it doesn't matter whether it's 10 to nothing or it's a six you know the five comeback win at the end of the day, a win counts all the same. It doesn't matter how you get it. And that's where we are in Baltimore. It's just simply, it doesn't matter the way they're just finding different ways every game. And if you don't like that, then you don't like Baltimore Orioles baseball. If you don't like winning, Jason, go ahead. Finish your thought. No, I was, here's the thing. It's, it's Cowser today, but it's not going to be tomorrow. Right? I'm Yes. One through nine. Don't care. You know what, Jason? I kind of alluded to that on on uh, one hundred five seven. The fan. Yeah. Oh yeah. Can you guys still hear me? Am I still there? My computer might just blow up. But yeah, you're still here. Okay, that's good. Um, yeah, one hundred five seven. The fan, on. which I actually. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, definitely. So it's Kevin's more than mine. You think Kevin's like eight seconds delayed? Yeah. Okay. Good. It's what's that? You know, SpongeBob growing up was one of my favorite, by the way. And uh, when it's like, no, 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 the part here, the oh, part here where I'm going, God. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to even look at him because I'm going to finish my story. Okay. It's when uh, Squidward loved the Krabby Patties too much, right? And he keeps eating them and he goes, What? Am I going to blow up? And Sponge, SpongeBob goes, No, it's worse. It'll go straight to your thighs and then you'll blow up, right? Um, mm. Again, yeah, it made no. Fucking sense. Sorry, rip after dark. Um, shout, shout out Jim, by the way. Yeah. Oh, Jim. Jim. Just. I'm just. just Beautiful here. Jim. And then Beautiful we actually Jim. just had another one. See money again. You know what? See, see money. money. If I could shake your hand, if I could go through the screen and punch Rocco in the face and shake your hand, I would. Well, I, I would. See money. Is the bullpen overachieving or are the guys finally healthy? You have to ask yourself, Bauman, you got Aiken. These guys are finally healthy. And I think it's not overachieving for them necessarily. This is what they do when they have the opportunity healthy. You know, once again, people are going to stress about Bauman giving up a, what, we're up. To, Jesus, there are a lot of people on the screen right now. Love it. This is God, what, this the, what is a lit. banter. Sorry, my computer also is in its last. We know. Days, so, yeah, we know. But bullpen, in my opinion, they're doing what we expect them to do or maybe not expect them to do. They're doing what their potential tells them to do. Danny Coulomb gives up a home run tonight. He was the hottest pitcher on the Orioles staff throughout the entire year so far. He was Mr. Unhittable. What do the rest of the guys do? Hey, I'll pick you up. You know, the one time Danny Coulomb slips, he, he doesn't have a perfect outing. The rest of the team is there to pick him up and get the win. I can't look at Rocco seriously in that box right now. What? Uh, yeah. Dude, Are what's you, up with all the slams? Home I, just, minutes, Rocco? I just wanted to pop in, say hello, be cordial. I'm about yeah, to go on You have somewhere there. to be, have somewhere to be in 35 minutes, yeah, and that exactly. is with me. Well, have so. somewhere to be in like – 
Uh, I don't know if you guys talked about this because I wasn't watching the whole show. Sorry, kill me. My fault. Uh, Rip, I saw someone say something about Jackson Holiday's 0 for 8 start currently. Yeah, we haven't talked about it yet. I think um, someone that you might be or may not be related to, um, Calvin, he began his career, I think, 0 for 7, 0 for 8, or 0 for 9, or something like that. This kid will be fine. I'm about to go on air. I'll probably be back. But that's all I needed to say. Discuss accordingly. Thank you. Good. Okay, Rocco. Good. Are you about that's to go Rocco on air? Sangro. Yeah. He uh, is. Go. Go tune into Box Forty Five. Box Forty Five to see Rocco. Live. Yeah. Have us on your screen, and if you put Rocco on your TV, it's like we're all in the same space again. We're all here. Um, I will answer. There's a couple that I missed so far here that we'll get. It. We actually got that one already, but obviously we'll do it again. The, is the goat moot moot no moo moo um but so to answer the, to talk about the jackson holiday thing with my dad specifically is what he was bringing up uh let's go to calvin's baseball i know his uh, his uh career as far as how things went but i want to give context because he brought it up and i know exactly didn't even have to look at the almanac he went three for five on opening day his official rookie season right he feels like he's on top of the world he feels like he's got it all figured out right well, guess what? The rest of the month, he proceeded for the entire month of April to hit a whopping 123, and the home run he hit on opening day was the only home run he'd have the rest of the month. He was 7 for 57, 123 average, and midway through May, he was hitting a whopping 169. Well, clearly – so. Well, Based on the stats you have said, clearly he didn't have a great career, right? You, no mm-hmm. one can have a good, no one can have a good career after starting slow, correct? Right? Uh, exactly. You know what? I I think we should personally just blow it up, blow up the team, yeah. move the team, move the team, start over, and we'll Take be okay. To uh, ooh, ooh. It'd be fun. Uh, Garrick, Garrick, you've been you've been hot today earlier. Appreciate it. Appreciate it for tuning in. Um, what a game. My God. Our lines were a little bit off talking about Grayson Rodriguez pitching lines. Another solid appearance from G-Rod. I'm, I am now fully convinced that Kowser is rookie of the year. Hey, look, Kowser, very well, he's a dark horse in this. And right now, if your Orioles fans are watching him, why wouldn't you think he can be a rookie of the year? It's about how he's playing. He's swinging the bat that well. And this isn't like it, it's coming out of nowhere. This is him having his first full year in the big leagues now under his belt. You're no longer jumping into the middle of a of a playoff divisional race in, in the middle of the season and going to New York. You're starting the season after having all that experience, and it really helps. And the same thing with Grayson Rodriguez. I mean, Grayson, again, third straight outing of pitching really well. Not off to the, the best start, maybe a little bit unlucky, but guess what? So what? The dude, like that's what I think that Corbin Burns, the Corbin Burns effect, you're seeing that kind of reflect off. Burns gets hit early, so what? Shut him down the rest of the game, give your team a chance to win. Grayson Rodriguez has given the Orioles a chance to win each and every time he's gone out there, and it's been a beautiful sight to see. And Caleb, we're not forgetting about you either. Milkman delivered two with many more coming. No damn doubt about it. No damn doubt about it, and it should be a lot of fun. Kevin, thank you for clapping. We appreciate yep. it, and, and and we appreciate Bye. we appreciate all of you. Kevin, is Kevin nine Thank minutes delayed you. again? Yeah, but it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Uh, salutation, sexy boys. Um, Thank you, Gur baby. Very he's Gur. Just, he's t- he's talking to that. Mm, I wasn't. He might, say he might it, very but, well. But something and also I do get, want to say. Oh. Everyone's concerned. I feel like over how we'll take it into last season. You know, saying Colton Kowser wasn't hitting home runs. You know, was the power there? How does he introduce himself? Not not just one over the monster, but then the kill shot. He 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 saw Gunner hit the. You know, he gets the lead. And then Colton says, you know what? How about we're done playing stressful games? What if I just put one out here, blow it open, and then we can all start celebrating early? So thank you, Colton Kowser, because 
it would have been a little stressful still guy on second in a two run game. He said, guys, let's not do this anymore. Let me just hit this ball out of here and let's go home with a sweep. Colton wanted the brooms. We wanted the brooms. So what did Colton do? He got us the damn brooms. He picked up the brooms himself and swept Boston. Yeah, Kevin, that's either, you know, I, I thought you could probably be salsa dancing, but. I was thinking playing lacrosse. Too. I was thinking he was playing lacrosse. Oh, that's good. Yeah, lacrosse was probably. No, that, no Zach, that, don't do that. That's my tweet. <laughs> 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 Oh, Jason, good kid. Hey, Caleb. Caleb, again, thank you. Very small sample sizes of games. Opinions on two possible rookie candidates on the same team. I mean, yeah, we, we've touched on the Colton Kowser, right? Kowser is mooing his way. It's so damn loud that they're like, hey, man, enough. We hear you, uncle. We'll keep you in the lineup. And, I, again, I just love his demeanor. You can just see a guy that's walking around that believes in himself and the guys around believe in him. And I still feel the way about that with Jackson holiday. You know, there's nothing that's going to deter me on Jackson's struggles early on in his career. The thing actually, we talked about with Matt holiday today, and it's true. You just want to get that first hit out of the way. You really do. You know, you got that first RBI. Yes. You've had the strikeouts. Those are the things that don't feel as good, but the big thing that kind of gets that pressure out of your mind is getting that first knock. And I do think it's setting up for him to get that in Baltimore, obviously. So um, stick with him. What I do like, he is battling his at-bats. He's getting deep into counts. And he just hasn't put it together for it to find a hole or or to, to do what he wants to do. But again, no concerns about Jackson. And the guys, the guys believe in him. They know what he's capable of doing. I mean, hell, Zach was – Lord knows what Zach was doing at 20. I was just starting my pro career at 20, uh, and I got hurt a couple times. But I remember, too, you know, just mindset-wise where I was. You know, Jackson's Jackson's good. Matt Holiday even said it, guys. He goes, I'm the one that was nervous. Jackson's the kid that's always so calm, cool, and collected. And really, I think you're seeing that from him. And it's going to all – be okay. It's all going to be groovy. Uh, you know, it's also groovy, all of you. And if you're new to the channel, hit that like and subscribe button. Ryan Ripken chant or Ryan Ripken show. It's the Ryan Ripken Media channel. Hit that like and subscribe. Um, we do have some, we do have channel subscriptions now, which so if you see some green, um, well, there's some green popping up. But Kevin, when you see a new member thing pop up, you guys can yeah. join. We're essentially give you some perks to be able to one why we do it. It's not to be like, hey. Show us the money. What was that in um in uh with Tom Show Cruise? No. Money. Show me the money. Why am I blanking on this? Jerry Maguire. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. Somebody with some great uh history of of movies. Um it's mainly so we can continue to put out content like this. If you guys were watching the live stream earlier, my camera <laughs> um uh switch went off, which was great. Uh, but little things like that, because at the end of the day, we want to be able to continue to give you guys content all the time, every day. And so anything that you guys want to be a part of. And again, we appreciate our community. So we're going to make sure that you guys can continue to feel involved with everything that we do. Um, it's a way to make, you know, it's a way to make things fun. Like we're going to have perks in there. Obviously, you still can get everything you need to without it. But it's just another way to support the show we also in the discord if you want to join that we have a live live watch alongs every single game well, which are fun and a bunch of other you can talk with the community we have a bunch you know and not just orioles but if you're into football basketball we have hockey in there now there's a lot of cool stuff going on in the discord so someone my computer will probably blow up if i try but someone can try to put the link to the discord in the in the comments but that's yeah. another fun way to get involved in the community the community here is the way that it's grown it's just been so cool really since this thing started up fantastic again and i think what we're seeing is initially we're bringing people together that love the baltimore Orioles. great you know we're, we're a baltimore-based crew but we love the Ravens in the, the fall and winter. We love talking other sports and you're finding out with that. You have a bunch of other people that like the Sam Dame things and want to keep talking about that and talking and shop and having fun. So we'll put the discord link in there so you guys can join in on the fun. Uh, and I guess I can, Zach, do you want me to do that or you want to do it? 
Well, real quick, I just want to let everyone know, not only did Rocco go to do his live show. I was TV, just about to say that. He left his, he just left the computer running. He literally just left his computer running and he, <laughs> so here's the inside of Fox 45 studio. Um, Rocco just saying, Gro just left his computer on. He's literally, I think on TV right now. I think he's on TV right now. And uh, I, feel, I feel like this should be the show just have up for the rest of the, of the street <laughs> he's a and good just have, kid. It, have him come back with him not knowing he's in the stream hey hey you know what though we'll give rocco one compliment because uh and i'll do this I, we the reason why all of us get along here and this is why the community wild works and again we're only gonna say something nice to rocco because he's not here so <laughs> don't tell him don't tell him this okay it's that the dude works so hard like he actually grinds just like the rest of us. That's why we get along so well. He wants to go out there and do his best on uh, uh, being one of the sports anchors for Fox 45. Him and I have a blast. Him and I have learned a lot growing with him on there. And then when he can, he wants to chill with the boys. He comes in and, and be a part of the crew. But are we going to make him feel that way? No. So the secret no, stays no. in this chat. We sh can't tell him that we think he's actually a good kid. Can't say that. But we all know that. But keep that between us. We appreciate that. And see money. We appreciate you. And again, you were just you were hot on that tonight. Goodness gracious. Oh, see money. See money or Colton Cowser. Oh, Cowser money. Colton money. There it mm, is. Goodness. So C Money asks, can you guys later talk about how good O'Hearn's approach at the plate has been? He gets the most out of every at bat. I mean, you're damn right. He was walking a ton. He's having some great swings. And to be honest, again, this is why when people go, wait a minute, get rid of O'Hearn. Uh, he's keeping up space for one of the prospects. O'Hearn has earned the right to get his every day or as much as every day at bats because of how good he was last year. I don't think that's a fluke at all. And I think you're seeing that to start this year. You got to realize that, yes, it didn't work out for him the way that he wanted in Kansas City. But he didn't get to the big leagues because he didn't have talent or the ability to have success, right? It was because of the fact. Do you think he knows, Zach? There's no way he knows. There's I'm telling you, no we should we should have kept it. We should have kept it on the screen. We should have kept it. it that close. How was your? How was the live show? How was the live? It was good. Why? What I do? Nothing. Nothing. You stay. You stayed Why? in the stream. Is what you did. <laughs> Yeah, what happened? Nothing. Why? Why are you assuming? Do you really think we would do anything behind your back? Oh, I gotta watch. Especially, this especially with me here. What <laughs> happened? Not, nothing happened. We just his... nothing happened. Honestly, Rocco, we just we, we missed you. Um, but to finish my Ryan O'Hearn, I believe you. Yeah, you should watch. You should watch the part back on mute, though. I think that's best. Yeah, I'm um, gonna do it. But anyway, take your glasses yeah, off. Okay. Cool. Okay. Well, you know what? I take I take back. You guys, you guys all heard we it. Take everything back. We off. take everything back now. Everything, everything back. back. Everything. Everything. Are you kidding me, Rocco? Last time we ever that do shit? that for Rocco. Last time we ever do that for Rocco. But oh, Ryan, like, okay. Can I finish? Can I finish yes. my Ryan O'Hearn thought? You you, you finish Ryan O'Hearn, then toss it to me because I need to show Ryan O'Hearn some love. Yeah, so again, if it doesn't work out with another organization, doesn't mean that you can't go and find what got you there in the first place. And for Ryan O'Hearn, got to the big leagues because he was having success and he has the talent, and it didn't work out in Kansas City. And quite frankly, Kansas City was a rough place to be over the years. They're off to a great start this year, but those last years was kind of like the Orioles. They were trying to figure out who's going to be involved. And Ryan O'Hearn, it turned into a situation where he wasn't playing a ton. And now – He's in Baltimore, waited his turn, was in AAA, got called up, and then he hasn't looked back. And I don't think any of this is a fluke. I think as he has figured out what he's done, and Zach, honestly, he's one of my favorite complete hitters on this team because he just does a lot of things right. It's not the flashiness, but he does so many things right. Yeah, and like you said, it's the little things. And like it was pointed out in the comment by Seamai, he grinds. Every single at bat, it doesn't matter if it's a strikeout, if it's a walk, if it's a single, if it's a home run, he is going to get the most out of every at bat. He's going to allow the guys behind him to go out there and see pitches. And he's got to be, if you are a right handed 
pitcher because that he mostly he goes out there against righties. Usually, if a lefty comes in, they take him out of the lineup. But as a righty pitcher, Ryan O'Hearn has to be your least one of your least favorite players in the Orioles lineup to go up against because he is simply going to go out there. He's going to foul pitches off. He's going to take pitches. The number of times tonight, over this even over this series, that he fell down 0-1-0-2, and he fights back, and suddenly it's two two, it's three two. He's working a full full count walk. He's getting singles on full counts. He gets every single bit out of every single at bat, and that's why I think Hyde loves him because it doesn't matter if he's ha- having a slump, if he's on a hot streak. He goes out there with the same exact mindset that he's going to grind out these at-bats. He's not going to be that guy that goes down on three pitches, swinging the dirt every single time. He's got a great eye. He has a great feel for the game. He has a great feel up at the plate. And he's just simply one of those guys that in the clutch, when the moment is the biggest, I mean, it's it's between two people for me. If, if the moment is the brightest, Ryan O'Hearn is one of those guys that I want at the plate. Other guys, probably Gunnar Henderson, just because he makes stuff happen. As we saw tonight, he has a – I'll say it. He didn't look comfortable at the plate. He was looking at pitches early on. I felt he was really passive in his first few at-bats. But when the lights are the brightest, what does Gunnar Henderson do? Yardo over the monster because Gunnar Henderson is what? A superstar. Yes, he's not an upcoming star. He's here. He's already he's already a star. Just yeah. superstar is the correct term. Um, hey, real quickly, blessing in disguise for just talking about Jackson Holiday earlier. Again, thank you. As always, Will. Appreciate you. Uh, and blessing Ryan, in disguise. Real- it happens in Baltimore. Yeah, go ahead. Ryan, real quick, I have a qu- for Jackson Holiday. Uh, I feel like a lot of people need to know. By any chance, do you know how many it takes to get going? Yeah, Juan. Juan. It just Juan. takes one. That first MLB hit, I'm telling you, it's going to feel like a flood because he's going to get the first one, and then they're going to keep coming. It's going to be just consistently he's going to get on base. Jazz Chisholm, who actually spent the – Part of the offseason, I think he spent a week with the holidays in Stillwater, Oklahoma, watched an interview with him last night. And the way Jazz Chisholm talks to him, Jazz Chisholm, one of the up-and-coming stars of the league, actually not even up-and-coming, he's one of the stars of the league. And the way he talks about Jackson Holiday, he compared him to Luis Arise. And if you don't know who that is, he was the one fighting to bat 400 last year. And he said, he reminds me of Luis Arias with pop he said he's going to go out there and give you two to three hits a night once he gets comfortable but not only that it's not going to just be singles he'll go get you a single a double and a home run and at the end of the day isn't that all we want from the number one prospect a guy that can consistently go out there and make plays and grind out at bats and put runs on the board even when he's not hell even when he's not having his greatest at bats he doesn't look comfortable He's moving runners over. He's getting RBIs on ways that he doesn't get hit. He's still finding a way to impact this game and impact every game that he's played so far without even getting a hit and without even being at his best. And that is why the Orioles are 2-0 in the Jackson Holiday era, and that's all that matters. Because at the end of the day, you can hit 1,000, you can hit zero. It's a team game, and wins are the only stat that matter. And it's going to stay that way. They're not losing ever in the Jackson Holiday era. No. Yeah, no, book it. Bet money line every single night. I already did. There was a – I love this. Oh, wait. Well, of course, I love the, the Brad. Thank you for joining our free Discord. Yes. Um, Joey, I saw people that are on X. We'll post it on X, by the way. It's, it's just – I've, I've, I've ch- pinned the Discord link in the in – the, Oh, uh, you so pinned you can, it. You can click that link and it will automatically get you in there. Kevin, you dog. Where was my comment that I had about Rocco? Oh, I love this. There it was. Rocco's Wolf of Camden Street. He ain't, he ain't fucking leaving. <laughs> <laughs> love that. Can't get, rid, can't get rid of him, man. Oh, God. 
We have yeah. a Rocco Rock. fandom. Love we that. created a Rocco fandom in here. <laughs> the uprising of the Rocconians. You guys, yeah, there is. There is you guys, that'll you guys, be the next channel member thing. It'll be it'll be Rocco's revolution or something. <laughs> yeah, we can work with it. Oh goodness. <laughs> <laughs> good kids good good uh, kids i'll I tell have, you what man i have seen some some adley discourse on social media what are people's thoughts on adley right now I, i'm i'm not worried yeah how, how yeah how about we we knock that off real quick yeah someone worried well i've seen discourse i'm not worried personally but i've seen the discourse and adley uh, adley rutschman went one for five tonight he has had a bad series Adley Rutschman currently has a 271 batting average. For the first five, six games a year, Adley was carrying this team. He was one of the only guys when people were complaining that the offense was done, the offense couldn't do anything, Adley was the one making stuff happen. He would had a rough series. It's going to happen. If every single game I want Adley Rutschman out there, it's not something that I will ever be worried about. Adley Rutschman can go 0 for his next 100, and I am putting him in the lineup every single day because that's the impact Adley Rutschman has. And it doesn't just end with the bat. We saw today multiple times his framing got pitcher strikes. I still don't know what Reese McGuire was looking at when he was getting tossed for that strike. That's a whole different conversation. He probably feels like an idiot looking back at it, but – Adley Rutschman is so incredible working with the pitchers and frame jobs that even if he goes 0 for 100, his impact on this team is so much more than his bat. Correct. Last People forget last April he had 255. What's he hitting right now? 271. It's yeah. like, mm-hmm. don't, this guy's you, not you, you talked. You talked about O'Hearn being pesky. I mean, what was, his last time out was what, 12 pitches? Yeah. Yeah, like, that. What more do you want from the guy? He saw 12 pitches. Mm. 12 what did he pitches. do? Not a bat. What did he do? Line out the center? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Like, it was I'm not, sorry. not a softly hit ball either. Yeah, so. he's been he's been mm-hmm. hitting the ball well. It's just not translating to hits. Yeah. And obviously that will reflect in the average, and then everybody will freak out. It's a chain reaction. So that's kind of how it goes. Yeah, this was so funny. I want to bring up this comment. When he, when he got tossed, it was so funny that Masson was like tiptoeing around what he said. <laughs> And then if you guys were watching the broadcast, they just blasted exactly what he said. It, it was, was a hot good. Mike. <laughs> F-bomb. It, I can't tell you how hot Because Kevin Brown oh, was yeah. just like, well, there it is. <laughs> Jim. Oh. oh Man of the people, Jason Benowitz. Yep, love him. What a guy. I'm, I'm, I'm just here for Rocco. That should be at 10K subs. We need a a Jason Rocco handshake. Oh, wow. Just a simple handshake. We might have to do that at 100K. I don't know if that that can go just at 10. I think 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 I'm going to end up skydiving before Jason and I shake hands. So that's got to be like on the tiers of, you know. Yeah. Just so (laughs) if if you are not subscribed yet, uh, at 100,000 subs, me and Rocco are jumping out of the plane. So I we don't know when. No, I hate that I agreed to it, but I'm locked in now. It was like each thousand a, subs we get. So it's like a oh yeah, like we're not gonna hit a hundred thousand subs for like another like two to three years, and now I'm actually worried. <laughs> and it's like, I'm ter- I, I already told you I'll do it. You're gonna have to physically like I will squirm, I will kick my feet. You're gonna have to throw me out of the plane. But dude, like for content, I'll do it. it. By yourself, you moron. You're gonna have someone attached to you like a pro. Yeah. That's that's what's yeah. gonna happen. Yeah. You think, you think you're they're gonna, gonna have the dummy like you jump out of a plane by yourself? That's what, you think that's gonna you're stop not a pull me from parachute? kicking and squirming? You think that's gonna stop me from kicking and squirming? Just, you're gonna have to okay. throw me out of the plane. <laughs> kids, kids. Let 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 dad speak here for a second. Thank you, Caleb. Thank you. Thank you. Kids, both of you, pipe down. Both of you. We don't need another night of this. And for those that watch, these kids were driving me insane last night, posting meme after meme while Rip Daddy here is trying to go to sleep. And I'm just getting, well, that's actually another nickname. Kevin, you want to know the other nickname while I played? 
No. We don't. No, we don't. Well, is that Rip After Dark? It's, it's not. It's, oh. I feel like 10 more minutes you could get away with it, but like the FCC requires <laughs> you not to <laughs> divulge any of that information before midnight, especially on a school night. Uh, especially on a school night. <laughs> <laughs> Rocco de Sand Grow. <laughs> Unbelievable. You bring up oh mine. Oh, God. You bring up no. mine. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Where's, where did uh, Stack House just go? Rip, this you, would be. Oh, my God. Go ahead. Sorry. Could you imagine? That would be great. <laughs> Me and Rocco like, obviously have to have a, oh, we have to have like a GoPro. Have the hands like they're holding hands, but like we're attached to like, yeah, that would be terrible. It's like having to stare each other in the face while we fear for our lives. Um, I'm going to break some news to a lot of people in this chat. I'm older than Rip by a month. So him calling himself Rip Daddy and he's the father and we're his children is just absolutely ridiculous. I turned 30 before you did. Number one, Rafael <laughs> DiGiorno. Unbelievable. Uh, Actually, my, my friends called me that for like probably like three years. So that's a good one. Um, oh god yeah yeah one. i mean but but who who acts more who actually has to besides brad or our cat herder you know he, oh, dude, he but uh, i'm not gonna but lie. besides so that but besides cinnamon. we know we have that's why i go heel cinnamon constantly because it's like <laughs> i have to hold two harnesses to just yank you guys back i feel, I feel, like, I'm, I feel like i'm pretty well behaved yeah, kevin no, shut up kevin <laughs> Kevin, Kevin just says makes a good point. He says, What's the name of this channel? That's who gets to be dad. <laughs> okay, funny. that is true. I I do want to say though, yeah, Kevin he's... behaved. Kevin behaves, and then out of nowhere, Kevin delivers the dumbest take on the not on sports on the most random thing. Like he will deliver the like stat after stat on sports, and then he'll be like. Yeah, I'll eat mayonnaise out of the tub. And you're like, what? I hate mayonnaise. I hate mayonnaise. That, you know, that is your best take yet. That is your what? best take yet. Kevin's like, Kevin's like a pretty be. accurate representation of like the stock market. It's like it rises, it rises, it rises. It's like great take, great take, great take. Boom, we crash down. It's like I, I feel like, like that's why I love the polls that Brad does because like it's just it's a different way to engage and Th this has been my whole life like my opinions are very like far from the norm and people love it apparently so i will wow. give my poor takes or what people think are poor takes like i enjoy eating cereal without milk what's like you know milk. you know that picture of like that one person against like a thousand people and it's like what take made you feel like this and yeah dad i put that like, out about the ravens what, and actually our friend sam and joku got fried on that tweet and i still feel bad about it love sam what a what a great guy by the way what He's did you get sam fried for i i that that picture that rocco said just to go off on a mini football tangent is oh, yeah. you know it's like it, it's a thousand people with one guy standing and the one guy saying oh, yeah. you're all wrong right or, so or, yeah, yeah sam ended up saying that harbaugh is the second best coach in the league behind andy reed and we all know the discourse about John Harbaugh right now in Ravens land and got absolutely fried for it. But to answer your question, Rocco, uh, like it's got to, it's not like a sport. It doesn't have to be a sports related. I want like your everyday life, like that picture. Like, do you put some people are saying you like Mayo, which I don't think is that weird. It's like, it's Mayo's, you know, no, I, I don't mind. I don't, mayo I don't like mayo. Mayo. Um, it's like, but like if you're eating like, um, Peanut butter and ketchup sandwiches, or something. Well, like I'm that. definitely allergic to peanuts, so that is out of the question. Yeah. Well, that's, but, that was so offensive, Wait. Rocco. <laughs> yeah. Rocco. No, Rocco. Okay. Which 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 one of you freaks had the weird PB and J take? I can't remember. <laughs> Couldn't have been me because I don't have PB and J takes. <laughs> which one of you freaks? I I think uh, it was great with you, Jason. I think it was. I was like a thousand no, percent I, on your side. No, I said I agreed with the portion, but I put peanut butter on first. Okay, here we go. This right, one's going to get everybody. Th this this one is going to make everybody mad. I eat stuff of plain. What? Wait, what? No, no. No, no, no. No, like, no, no sauce or any From, from the beginning. Oh, no, 
No, no sauce. Oh, I, I, I eat salad plain. Wait, and then you call dressing sauce. Well, oh. you know what I Yeah, that, that that I have a more problem with that. <laughs> like I can I can sometimes if you know it's a body's a temple and I'm trying to not, you know, uh you know, take it down on some dressings or I'm making it, and I'm like, you know what? I'll just throw some hot sauce on like five chicken and I'll just I'll bear it without dressing, Kevin. Dressing no, like, I'm talking is the, like is the plain word. lettuce, no, no, no. plain tomato. Jeez. Okay. I was trying to help you. I was. You're I really was. Like and then a rabbit. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Oh, Wait, so you channel, just eat though. lettuce. Yes. So you don't eat salad, you eat lettuce. No, lettuce. I mean I, no, no, like oh, like, like it is a salad. Like there's lettuce and chicken and corn and like all that stuff, but like okay, I'm not that's not any weird. That's more that's more that's normal. Said, I'm, a, I'm imagining you like picking up Salt. lettuce leaves with your bare hands and just like putting them in your mouth. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah. Okay, I'll try to think of a better one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, that was, yeah. <laughs> the chat is not happy. With me, including my man Stackhouse. I'm sorry. I didn't okay. Chris's, it is. Chris's Our, comment is unbelievable. <laughs> I, don't think, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think we can pull that up, but <laughs> I don't think we can either. But we're just going to laugh at it. Oh, <laughs> uh, good, good kids. Rolling with Rock, I agree. Uh, you know, and a lot of people having the same reactions here. Cereal, no milk, salad, no dressing. You know, some, someone, Wowzer. someone on this show has to be the villain, and I will take that role. Besides Rocco, it's are not, you the it's villain? Not a villain. It, yeah, it's not. It's not a villain. Okay, you got. You're 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 looking at this the completely the wrong way. Okay, it's not that we think you you're a villain. We just sometimes wonder what you actually are. It's a difference. We're like, what is a Kevin? Like, like what like what a does a Kevin eat? Or an alien? Yes, kinda. Yeah. I'll, I'll try to think of a better one because no, I don't just like pick up like circles of lettuce and just eat it. You know what? You know what? Let's uh, hold on for a second here. Okay, this, this is actually a good question. Oh, cool. well. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> Oh gosh! Um, Dumbass, you're the village idiot of the Ryan Ripken show. Congratulations, bud. Hey, we're gonna we're gonna go back to baseball talk here, and it kind of in a second. But um, this is maybe one thing. But who is the more mature one of the group? Are we just talking about between Kevin and Rocco? Oh god, I think, I think uh, Brad of, is of, the most mature of all of us. But well, Brad, I mean, Brad, Brad, no, Brad is not the most mature. No, okay, no. I will stand on this. Brad is the least mature of all of us because whenever anyone says something even borderline suspect, Brad is the first. <laughs> Brad is the I first cried, one Brad. to start I dying agree. laughing. Brad, I agree. Got the, Brad's got the mind of a seven-year-old. Okay, Brad might be the oldest, but the second. Well, then, no, then happens, fine. I'll say I'm the most mature. Oh my god! I, have I think it is. No, no. Oh, oh. thank you, thank you. I think it is. Dude, that actually, thing... guys, the, time time out, Zach. Uh, that's a great thing for those that are still choosing to watch us. Hit that like and subscribe button. It's the Ryan Ripken yeah. Show. It's moving into kind of Rip After Dark, but to be honest, you guys have an experience with Rip After Dark is. Um, but who is the most mature in the group out of out of the group? And you know what? You can throw in Jason as well. But if you've seen Jason's tweet, you might just rescind that <laughs> decision. But <laughs> but right in right well, in the I'm group, who you guys think. <laughs> Who you guys think is the most mature in the group? He said, I thought he was. This is the point. I'm taking care of healthy fish. I'm taking care of some healthy fish over here. All right. That takes maturity. There are two healthy fish in this tank right here. He said, I thought he was fish pumping. There's no way. This is why why Brad's the least mature. Brad. Oh. No, you didn't, Jason. You did not think he was fist pumping. Wait, I got see. Wait, is this true? That that Jason tweet is up to eighty three thousand views. <laughs> we, 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 we honestly, know. we are probably going to have to introduce that as one of the channel member emotes. Is that <laughs> Cal's <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why everybody's coming at me like this. <laughs> I do. I do. Oh, God. 
Unbelievable. Goodness gracious. Hey, hey guys, uh, a couple things. Maybe, maybe we should get close to wrapping this up here. Maybe, because it's a big day tomorrow in Birdland. I'm going to be down there at Pickles, and if you don't come say hi to me, uh, uh, you, Zach, you are I not a joke, even with your haircut. I can't believe I got a vote, though, so I had to put it up there. Okay, continue. Children, children. I'm, I'm sorry, Amanda. It's hard when you got a couple kids and Kevin. It's it's very challenging to deal with. So um, since since you mentioned that tweet, it's gotten twenty four more likes. So boom, <laughs> good. Sure. And, good. Hey, and boom, 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 Birdland. Hey, appreciate your support. You should check him out. By the way, yeah, um, I, I just recorded with him. By the way. I know, and I actually meant to say, great, great get he got for getting you. You were, I, I can't wait to listen to it. I was on there, I think it was last week, but check him out. It was a lot of fun. Um, we love supporting the group here in, in the community. And uh, actually, I wanted to, maybe it's the PSA for those that yeah. don't know. I saw someone mention this earlier. Um, it was, uh, I'm doing an event with Rick Dempsey and the Iron Rooster. And I, I saw someone ask me about it, so I'm just going to throw it up there. Um, can you guys see it? Oh, there it is. Oh, wow. That's how did you just why? do that? Okay. I don't know what I did. Time out. I think Here it's we go. Because it's you off. shared. Yeah, it's it's yeah. It's what no, the hell no, happened? No, you because you got, you got oh, it. No. Goodness. So you did, oh, there no, we go. It, it's we're back. It's the nope. layout. No, it's the layout. No, nope. oh, there we go. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Can I zoom? Can I zoom no. zoom? No. You have to okay, do it good. on your no go. You can do it on your. Click on the picture on your computer, Rep. I'm on the computer. I can't like zo like the zoom computer. in on the tab. Yeah. 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 yeah on I the am tab. zooming there in. There, there, there it is. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you might be the okay, guy. Okay, so. Oh, gosh. Yeah, it is tough. It is tough. But uh, Rick Dempsey, we're doing this on April 28th. It's after, I believe, the games in Baltimore on Sunday. But we're doing it up in Hunt Valley. And honestly, you want to come – Talk some ball, talk some shop, have some great food and meals and, and be able to talk. Check out the link. It's on the Iron Rooster. I'll retweet it after the show here and hope to see you guys there. It should be a lot of fun. And hopefully if this is something that people like, we plan to do a lot more moving forward. Um, and that's, you know, hey, Brad, Brad, we get it. Yeah, you're not on the stream. Thanks for joining us, by the way, buddy, Mr. Maturity over there. Every time also so I up. say Every time I, it is very true, we, we would not sure where, where we would be without Brad on, on the, the te technical part of it, but we can't give him that much credit. Yeah, Brad and I agree with that. Stream, he's getting legend. Brad wow. probably got the notification. Yeah, he, it, he is on the stream, though. He's watching the stream. I'm telling you, though, he got the notification that we all got on Discord with the unusual join activity again. Yeah. Yeah, people look so, and I also I want to yes. First of all, Jeremy, with we'll put the Jeremy. Pie. thank you, Jeremy. I'm glad I ha see. I have I like to answer your question, Rocco. I have takes that would literally break this show, but I I I don't think I've been on the show long enough to put. Them and you out. you haven't it, shared them yet. I there are some that I just have, I have to keep a little closer to uh to the vest because I know that like I, I got to save them for like Orioles win the World Series, and then I'm like, you know what? Here's this crazy thing that I love, and then no one's gonna care because they're gonna win the World Series. But all right, so that for is this... the dumbest clock <laughs> I've ever heard in my life. Kev, yeah, we're not recording Locked On Ravens at twelve oh five. It's okay. We're not recording it at twelve. Is when we're supposed to record it. But it's okay. for for Pocket Watch, if you're talking about Discord, we have the Discord. We're getting a lot of people in there right now, and it's a great place to interact with the community. The link is pinned in the comments, so you can join it from the comments of the YouTube. If you're talking about channel members, which we introduced, then you can join and get a bunch of perks there. The uh, <laughs> I'll put that in my in my in my notes. But the <laughs> join button is next to the subscribe button, so you can click on the join button, and that will get you. There are a couple tiers in there. Of course, the big one being the holy shirts and pants, which uh, is Ryan's little little catchphrase, and it, it's a yeah. way of living, Kevin. <laughs> Look at Kevin well, while you you really spell it W H like holy shirts and pants instead of just yeah. Holy. Can we talk about that? I yeah, also, I it was mainly it. okay. So initially, actually, how it started me doing that, I had some people get on me because of like the religious part, and I go, you know what, I'm not going to cause any issues. So I just did the holy that way, um, and that's really where it stemmed from. And you know, I don't care. You guys know what I'm damn well talking about. It's all good. Holy Wait. shirts. 
and pants. I got to put this up. And MD Sports blog. Not sure what I watched. On the <laughs> I'm not sure what we're doing tonight, honestly. But you know what? The people are excited about the uh, Orioles, mm -hmm. and uh, that's all that matters. We get to talk about a team that is grinding out these these big wins and sweeping a division. Even though the Red Sox aren't supposed to be good this year, it still feels nice to sweep the Red Sox. Yeah, that does, does doesn't get old. Also, I do want it to does. point out to everyone: I hate to give give them credit. But if you want to know how much of a sicko like Kevin is, like if you listen to Locked On Ravens on Friday morning, he and Rocco will record at like 1 a.m. on Thursday night. So when, like, I, when I record by myself, I record at 3 a.m. And the show comes out at 6 a.m. Mad man. Why? I've been burned too many times. And plus, I'm just, I, I prefer working at night. Yeah, you can, Kevin refuses. Yeah. Kevin refuses to get a Schefter bomb at 2.30 a.m. He's like, I'm It's, it's wait happened till to me before. I've had to re-record shows. It's the worst. <laughs> it's like because the, the burn trade, what the burn trade happened at like 8 p.m., 8.30 p.m. I mean, the holiday news happened at like 9, 9.30, 10. Like that stuff where I'm usually, if yeah, I have a guest, it's not I 2 a.m. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, but then, you know, you got to go live and you got to do the whole thing like we're doing now, so. It's uh yeah. I mean, look, my sleep. We can get into a whole other conversation about my sleep schedule. Long story short, my sleep schedule used to be twelve p.m. to seven p.m. <laughs> and it's real. That was real. Now it's a lot better. I'm not in. I don't sleep through <laughs> afternoons anymore. But Rick, this chat is just getting out of hand, man. <laughs> uh, this is this is what, is, what the hell is happening? By the way, Houston has wow. like five or six Hall of Fame comments that have been in this chat like over the past like three or four months. Like that guy just drops like comment bombs in here and they're hilarious. Houston, Houston oh, and sure. Stackhouse are my two favorite commenters. I like all the commenters, but I've seen yeah, you can a pick lot favorites, of Houston Kevin. Stackhouse. The, uh, well, they give me, they like Houston tells me I got the Squidward chin, you know, like, like you see, like, that going on, like Houston compliments that, and Stackhouse gives me nicknames. So that's fair. There you go. That's your criteria. Uh, for favorite. I wish people. And, okay, I, I, I see, I see, I see Kevin in the chat too. I got to give a shout out to the name right there. Chris says, All right, hey, uh, Chris, what would you like to hear more of? I, well, well, we had we did talk before we got way off balance here. By the way, we do talk actually to give people a little bit more context if you are new. We do our actually scheduled shows every Monday and Thursday and Sunday, and we really dive into it. This is li literally us just cutting loose late at night. But our guest list, guys, if for those that I mean in the chat, you guys can back us up here, by the way. Let's see. We had Matt Holiday on earlier today. We had Tim Kirchin. We had Buster Olney. We've had Jeff Passan, um, Kyle Corwin and with the 3 0 take. Obviously, Jason Benham went to the Baltimore Battery. Uh, Mike Heston Porter, Kerstad. Dempsey, Heston Kerstad, um, David, Sean Merriman, Kyle Rocket Braddish, Sangro, Dean Kramer, Kyle Braddish, Kyle Dean Wells. Kramer. We'll, we'll get the whole uh, list out. So we, yeah, I was say, we let will me, let me just read it off. I got, we got well, Jerry yeah, Harrison Nick, Jr. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, go ahead. Just listen. Moore. Yeah. So we got Sean Merriman, David Rubenstein, Kyle Ripken Jr. That took a lot to get. Jerry nice. Harrison Jr., Tim Kirchin, Buster Olney, Jeff Passan, Dan Connolly, Mina Kimes, Kyle Braddish, Cedric Mullins, Tyler Wells, Dean Kramer, Heston Kirsten, Brent Rooker, good guy, Rick Dempsey, Mike Bordick, Jeff Arnold, Mark Clayton, and then we got some other guys that have been Cedric Mullins. social media. I said that, but yes. Oh, you did? Sorry. Yeah, so I, I, I think the point. So the thing is, I guess for us, this is kind of like the impromptu, like where it's like, wow what the hell just happened we talk baseball and then we're delirious because we've been working all day uh this is an interesting question maybe this can be a wrap-up thoughts about Kowser to the top of the lineup to be honest i want Kowser to stay exactly where he is right now and i'll tell you yeah. why i think that he is very comfortable in the spot that he is in not that he wouldn't be able to go up there late but i do love the fact of getting gunner henderson the at bat to the top i think eventually when jackson gets comfortable and this might not be this year it might be next year He'll probably be towards the top of the lineup. But right now, I love Gunner 
being up there at the top and Adley. And if actually if there was a guy I'd move to the, the higher part of the order, I'd probably even put Cedric Mullins up there. I just think Kowser, with the way the lineup's designed, is able to come up and drive guys in and big opportunities. And so I don't want to change that dynamic of him. Does that does that make sense? You got how do you guys feel about all that? Yeah, I like what you just said because what was it yesterday? He came up and he had I think it was total after all of his at bats, he had like something like nine guys total on base when he was batting. <laughs> and when you have a guy swinging a bat like that, it just you want guys on base. I, also, shout out Chris, dog, rolled on. But you, 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 when you have a guy swinging the bat that hot, you want guys on base. You want him to have the ability to get guys in because it's obviously harder to score runs. Obviously, if he hits two home runs every game, it doesn't matter where he's batting. But you want guys on in front of him because right now, what's Colton Cows are doing? He's driving in runs every opportunity he every opportunity he gets. So it's hard right now to say, hey, I want Colton Cowser leading off because he's been an RBI machine. He had 10 RBIs this series. You know, three-game series, 10 RBIs for Colton Cowser. Dog, that's what you have him there for. You want him, I guess, sitting more in that seven spot, six, seven spot behind all the guys that are getting on base because right now when guys are on base, who's driving them in for the Orioles? It's Colton Cowser. Mm-hmm. Hey, um, sorry, Jason, Jim, Jim might be your, oh yeah, this, this is the Jim Mason, Jason Benowitz show. Well, actually, I'll, I'll I'll tell you guys, um, on, I'm on Twitter, by the way, that is, um, O's card giveaways and O's card sales. So. Dude, oh, I love that account. Oh, love that yes. account. Mm-hmm. Oh, Jim. I know that we're not trying to knows. give away secrets. That's sick. Now it makes way more sense. It's electric, by the way. Rocco's trying to get back in, but you know who knows he's what's going on. He can get us. He's but this this that has that the, the bat. The lineup has so many bats, like so many studs in it, and like. Once obviously everybody hits their stride, and I think we're gonna see it. I mean, and we said it earlier this, and I think you said it where it doesn't have to be cows tomorrow, it doesn't have to be cows the next day. Like they have so many guys in this lineup that can just rake and that are raking. And I'm gonna be excited once Jackson finally hits that stride and obviously gets more active. I mean, the end will be level, but to me, like. One through nine, it's just like pitchers are looking at that lineup. It's like, man, when do I get a break? And the answer is, you don't get a break. All all nine guys can hit the hit the world out of the ball, and that's why I, I just I love the lineup because, and especially the the iteration we've seen over the past two days, like one through nine, you look at it and you're like, man, how did that? How did they have all these guys? And and where do where is there a soft spot? The answer is there's not a soft spot. No, there isn't. And Kyle, uh, friend of the friend of the program, and also him and Nate host the three O take, and uh, maybe it would have been a good time to have Kyle on today or after this series. Sorry, you're a good kid, Kyle. Kyle is a Red Sox fan. Not the best vibes up in Bean Town right now. Trevor Story, obviously done for the year, most likely because six months recovery. Uh, Rafael Devers scratch, not playing today. Um, the injury bug just keeps happening for the Red Sox. Pavetta not playing, and then by the way, your division rival comes to to Fenway and sweeps you. So, um, but but no, no, Zach, you do not, you do not even write with my name. Go ignore Ryan's go hounds. Do not even do that. <laughs> Sorry, it happened. Not not also, on my watch. That, that is that is defamation. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle, I want on record that I have a massive love hate relationship with playing at Fenway Park because it is just chaotic. But when you are, it's happening to you, it is the most annoying thing ever with the pesky pole, with the short porch Mm -hmm. or, you know, the walls obviously in lower, shorter. It is chaotic to say the least. And it's so much fun when you're watching highlights and you're watching and your team's using it well. When you have pop-ups like the Orioles had where it just is falling in no man's land and then just hopping over the fence, you get the pesky pole. It is the most annoying place to play. But I absolutely love the chaos. So it's fun when we succeed there. 
not fun when the Red Sox are using it to their advantage. Yeah. 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 Um, sorry, my brain's starting to fry a little bit. So it might be time for, for me to try to wind yeah. down. I still got to clean up the kitchen. I still probably going to edit something else that we haven't gotten out. We have so much content that we have from even yeah, this past week lot. or so that we haven't even d- dove into. But here's some here's a couple things I'm going to leave you guys with. Number one, hit that like and subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. Follow all of us at Jay Benowitz 1831 on X at Chaos Striker 34 at Zach Bollinger 18. Rocco's at Rocco to Sangro. I don't know what happened to Rocco. Something He's happened. He's still with trying computer. to get in. Yeah. Um, and in number two, then I will be doing the pregame show at Pickles from six to seven. I'm going to get down there early to try to get acclimated. It should be a great environment. So can't wait to really take in everything that's going to be happening tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Also, in case you guys didn't see this, I just wanted to show this one video of Colton Kowser that I made on X just to talk about how excited you should be about him because he's a really damn good player. And I talked about this. I do these breakdowns with the Ryan Ripken show every, what is it, guys? I do it every week. But this was back earlier on in spring training, talking about what I thought about Colton Kowser, and you're starting to see it come to life. He's got power anywhere. And this one, especially the ball flies in Vegas, well, this ball flew, and it flew well out of the yard. Baseball players are creatures of habit. You get more reps, you're able to get in there, you're going to have success. But regardless, it's a business. you got to find ways. I think Colton learned a valuable lesson in 23. Because in my mind, watching him, he's a guy that is going to be a future star for the Orioles. And I think you can count on him having a big 2024 season. Jason, I, did, I made that for you. Mark it down. Ryan Ripken knows ball. Thanks for joining, Rocco, as we're getting off. Yeah. Uh, and then lastly, lastly, trying to think of a nice little song because we fin- we finished last one. Are you going to make with me Kevin. do lyrics again? <laughs> yes. Uh, there's no guarantee I know the lyrics, by the way. Well, listen, I, I got to shout out the people real quick because. Um, Please do. Tweet, tweet aside, right? Tweet aside. <laughs> Uh, I've been just blown up tonight because of the Kowser stuff. So shout out to the people. But again, to ignoring that tweet, it's still blown up. So oh gosh. Can I, hey shout shout out your account there, Jason. You're a good kid. And everyone that joined the Discord, please continue to do that. We got content coming out on the YouTube channel every single day. We have videos up right now from earlier. Rocco, what the hell happened? <laughs> now every he's time think, he's hits, thinking about the tweet. Every time he hits a home run, Jason's got to tweet that now. It's only right. I'm not gonna, it's just got to happen. Uh, <laughs> I'm right now, man. I have tears coming out of my eyes. <laughs> Would we get flagged for playing Orioles Magic on our way out? Is that something we'd get flagged for? I, mean, oh, no. No. I hate YouTube. Well, now you're gonna get uh, banned too. Uh, Should well, I order Wawa? Huh? Should I order Wawa before our stream? Are you oh going home? Should are you I? gonna record? Are you gonna record with me there? What, what do you want me to do? Okay. Jesus Christ! You guys are making <laughs> plans. On well, we were supposed to start recording 20 minutes ago. Yeah. Like, if you're, if you're done, minutes. when you're done on this stream, head on over to uh, Kevin. Well, no, we're not doing it live. Yes. We should. Well, if you're <laughs> yes, if you're a Ravens fan, 6 a.m. You can see Rocco's ray of sunshine face on on Locked On Ravens talking football. If you're a Ravens fan, so. Oh, you know what? It made me think. Pocket full of sunshine. Do you know Natasha Bedingfield's song? You're like, I'm looking on sunshine. That's that's. Oh. It's not even close, Kevin. No, bro. That's also oh, not. Like, I got a pocket full of sunshine. Yeah, that's that's, that's so better. Much. Yeah, I know that. Whoa, like that. That's Fun fact. Oh, oh, I, that would be great. <laughs> Fun Go fact. Ahead. I uh, my third grade talent show. I performed a dance to Pocket Full of Sunshine. Is there? A video There's your tip. 
I hope, well, yes, but I hope it never gets out. <laughs> I would say that you just, you just dropped a Kevin fact. <laughs> so, is that what we're calling him now, Kevin Facts? I actually don't hate mm-hmm. that. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, Kevin, we'll shy, sign off with this. Let's see if you get this right. This is Natasha Bedingfield. And I'll I'll sing I'll I'll do it I'll I'll, I'll do it as a poem to you, okay? Let's try it. Okay. I'm staring at the blank page before you. Open up the dirty window. Let the sun illuminate the words that you cannot find. Reaching for something in the distance. So close you can almost taste it. At least you're in a bit. You're in a bit. Oh God! Thank you. That would actually we we need some of these. Oh, we're you know what? we're gonna put that together. Uh, we have some ideas. There honestly, was a 50-50 like, shot. I got that. I was not confident singing. Uh, dude, I'm honestly impressed. I'm very impressed. I can wrap all of dreams. You impress me more every day, my son. Kevin, I hey, hey, too, Pac, but... hey, Amanda, Amanda, we appreciate you telling everyone to like and subscribe. And Pocket Watch, we appreciate you joining here. I'm, you know what? We're gonna add that to the segment. Some poems. Add Jason's gif in there in between the poems, and then. Um, <laughs> well, I think that's against terms of service, but we can try. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, oh my God. This, this, this is the most or- after dark we've gotten on this. On this. Hey, <laughs> Orioles, Orioles bird watcher, you're right. This is a or- room full of Oriole fans that just saw these the O's sweep the Sox and then lost their damn minds. That's what you've seen over this last stream. But hey, everyone, we appreciate you all, and maybe Ollie will be a part of the next one. Amanda, yes. time will tell. Dream Ollie's it. down. There's napping, being like, who the hell is this guy that won't shut the hell up at 12.22 a.m.? But, guys, we're going to call tonight. We appreciate you. Again, we appreciate the Ryan Ripken Show community, Jason Benowitz of the Baltimore Battery. If you aren't following them, follow them, please. And uh, that's it. We will see you at the yard. Come find me at Pickles. Say what's up. And, uh, as always, have a day, have a night. Go Birds, O-R-I-O-L-E-S, Orioles. Peace.